E-commerce is fundamentally changing um, certain sectors of the market in particular. One of the real beneficiaries of e-commerce is the industrial property space. Um, for all those headlines that you see about Amazon and online sales, um, the back end of that is how do they ship the goods, how do they transport them, how do they get the products to the end customer and the industrial market um, is really benefiting from that trend. Yeah, if you look at certain groups like Amazon, but they're not the only ones, um, other third party logistics companies, their impact on industrial is uh, twofold. One, they're taking a lot more industrial space, so there's a lot greater demand uh, for this kind of property. But secondly, they're actually changing the type of industrial assets that they're looking for. So the industrial warehouses or sheds are getting bigger, the clearances are getting higher, uh, they need a lot more uh, client and customer parking because there's a lot of throughput, not just goods being stored, put away for a few months and pulled out. A lot of goods come in off the back of the truck and are processed immediately. So those three things around the, the type of the property, bigger industrial warehouses, uh, more customer parking and higher clearances uh, are really suited towards the e-commerce uh, end user. Look, like many uh, trends, uh, Australia tends to follow what happens in the North American or US market. If you look at the share of e-commerce and online e-tailing in the US, it's around 10%. Um, Australia is about nine years behind the state, so we're only around 5% of all retail sales being online. But we are catching up very rapidly. So what you're seeing there is um, a big chunk, around 60% of the retail growth in Australia is really being driven by e-commerce. Um, this is a trend that offshore investors have picked up probably earlier than us, but it's very much landed in Australia and the uh, increased demand for high quality investment grade industrial property is very strong and expected to continue into the future. Well look, the ways uh, retail investors have traditionally accessed this is through small non-institutional quality uh, industrial sheds, but for obvious reasons, they're not the type of product that the e-commerce giants and that are really benefiting from this trend. So there's two real ways to access it. You can access it through an unlisted property fund or through a listed stock which focuses on the industrial market. Uh, the key characteristics of industrial property tend to be uh, much longer lease terms. Um, a greater proportion of the total return is driven from the income component but you do still benefit from fixed annual rental increases that are around two to three percent, um, which kick in year in, year out. And at Charter Hall, we're the second largest owner of industrial property in Australia. And we see that um, focus on income and long-term leases across our entire $6 billion portfolio.